September 3rd and we're going to start uh, harvesting some honey today. Got uh, the two mediums and two deep supers that I pulled off a couple weeks ago last month. So I will probably do the two medium supers today. That might get us about uh, 70 pounds, 65 to 70 pounds of honey. And we'll see where we go from there. So this container here contains cappings from previous years of harvesting. Well, when we get done this year, we'll add more of those wax cappings, and then uh, at some point we'll render it all down and get beeswax, and we start making some candles and some other things from the wax. But the rendering process takes some time, so we'll just keep collecting the wax cappings and then come back eventually and start rendering the wax. So this is one of the medium frames that pulled out last, last well, no, actually early, early August. That one, yeah. we could spin. There's a little Not bit of honey stuff. there. That one's empty, mm. but when we can take half of that. Oh. Hello, B. Take that one in so we can uncap that. That one's got a corner down there. Yep. Are we sticking them in this way? Yes. Pulling two more frames out. No, I uh, anchored it down. So, those are wet frames, empty. They're a lot lighter.
So this is the honey coming out of our centrifuge. This is the where we spin the frames in. And that's raw honey that's coming out into a filter on top of the bucket. So any of the wax and other heavy hard debris gets caught there and nothing but raw honey drops down into the bucket. And same thing on this side, except this honey is coming from the tub where we do the uncapping. So in that top portion there is all the wax capping that we took off the frames. And then the, there's a mesh between the two there on the bottom of that top tub. So any of the honey drops through and then is drained out of that, that drain there through a filter into the bucket. So there's very little honey that's wasted. And then all the wax cappings, all the wax cappings that we took off all the frames, we will collect that and sometime in the next year or so we will render that down into beeswax. So none of that's wasted. So yesterday we did these two mediums. Today we're going to do these deeps. Well, I don't know if we'll get if we'll do all of these because we don't have enough bucket space for them all. Like one and a half there frame. That's oh. a good full frame there. Heavy. Good. Start? Sure. A lot of honey. That's a lot of honey. It seems like it's easier to cap. Today. Uncap. Uncap today. I don't know why. It's is it maybe warmer. I don't know. It is. I think it is warmer today. Okay. You ready? Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna. I'm not going to get much more into this yeah, I was bucket. Just say, um... we'll, we'll fill that filter and then use a new bucket. So about 20 minutes ago, 
there were only three or four bees here. This is how quickly, and my hives are probably 200 yards west of where I'm standing right now. This is how quickly bees communicate. They found all this honey, and they are just coming in for it. There's a frenzy going on here. So I just capped, I'm gonna put the top on these two deep and two medium supers. We've just uncapped and harvested all that honey in there. We've probably got about 12 gallons of honey from those four boxes. I will put those four boxes, they've got wet frames in them which are uncapped empty honey frames. I'll put those on top of my hives tonight, spread them out, and the bees can climb up and clean them out. And then I'll freeze them to get rid of any wax moth larvae and any other bugs in there. And then I'll prep them to store for the winter. These girls will have this honey cleaned up here tonight. They're just amazingly efficient in collecting, cleaning, and communicating. There you go, three C's. All right. All right, I'm back out at the hives. Uh, I'm gonna take the wet frames. These are all the frames that we just harvested that are in these four supers here. And I'm gonna place them on top of four of these colonies. Leave them on there for like a day or so. Let the bees clean out all the residual honey and whatever else they can get out of there. And then I'll come back and take these boxes off and prep them and store them for the winter. It's actually a gorgeous evening. Sun's setting here through the cornfield. So. All right, let me get to work here. All those frames are empty. We just harvested all the honey out of them, so light boxes. This should go pretty quick. Hopefully I don't disturb the bees too much. leave the inner cover on and just put this box right on top and just let the girls work on it for the next 24 hours or so. Alright, that's one. 